Good day, folks. Welcome back to Ziggy Does Tanks. Um, this is about me falling out of love with the Manticore, and I have. Um, the tank is. Uh, yeah, I've played 60 battles in it now, and the tank is just not good. Um, it needs some work done to it. Uh, its spotting range and its its stealth is very good, but. Uh, yeah, not much else I can say about it, unfortunately. Um, so let's let's watch this game anyway. This is this is a game I had on, yeah, one of the Ovkas, Prokhorovka, I think it is. Yeah, Prokhorovka. Uh, so I'm going to take the uh, the usual spotting place for a light tank, and you know I, I I can spot, and it does do well with spotting. But um, man, oh man, it needs some love. Uh, I'll call out the things that I think it needs love on all the way through uh, because there'll be plenty of time to talk over this one because there's not an awful lot of movement for the first, well, most of the game actually because um, it's simply uh, a matter of just using your, your good spotting, le spotting range or view range and your stealth to get the spots out on these tanks. Um, it's not uh, yeah, it's, it's not poor at spotting and stealthing itself up. It's, there's no two ways about that, but it's it cannot defend itself uh, against other light tanks. It it is just severely outplayed by the LT100. Hell, it's even outplayed by the LT432. Uh, it is just yeah, it's just not up to a playable standard, I think, when it comes to um, defending itself. It, it just can't defend itself. Uh, you can see one of the problems I've got here is uh, elevation. The gun elevation is absolute rubbish on it. Um, but you know what? I can live with that. Um, it's just one of those things. It's just one of the, shall we say, um, inherent issues with the tank, uh, the, the, the turret layer and the setup in it, it's an oscillating turret so um, it does have gun elevation problems but that to me is the least of its problems, it's, um, it's uh, gun handling is, is woeful, uh, it's, it's accuracy on the move is terrible, it's reload time is too long uh, it doesn't carry enough shells, having said that I've never run out of shells because generally I don't live long enough, but I've never run out of shells uh, in it. Uh, but I just think that um, with the changes proposed, it's going to need more ammo capacity. Uh, changes that I'm proposing, I should say, it'll need more ammo capacity, um, and we'll go through those a little later on, and also uh, as a bit of a wrap up, right? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm spotting pretty well here. Uh, there's a couple of blind shots coming in. One, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of guys on the opposition team that that know what's happening, and they're putting blind shots into these bushes. And I make a decision to do one of them in shortly um, because he put probably two or three blind shots in. The other one is the M48A5 pattern down down there a bit further. That's um, also throwing the odd blind shot into here. In fact, I think there's an STRV that comes up beside me a little bit later on. I'm pretty sure he got hit by a blind shot from the pattern. Um, so I'm about to make what I think is a good decision, but I executed it wrongly. So I'll call that out as it comes up. Um, you can see this T95 doing a very smart thing. It's pushing a dead tank up. Um, in front of it to keep its lower hull. I didn't think the lower hull was that much of a weak spot in the T95, but hey, what do I know? Um, I never got any of the spotting for that, by the way, so someone was actually spotting. This is where I make the mistake, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, it was a good decision, I think, to shoot that tank, because as I said, he was the one throwing blind shots in, but it was poorly executed. I should have turned around before I fired that shot. Should have been ready to fire forward in other words, back towards my line rather than reversing up because you can see that one shot cost me over half my hit points. Um, I got hit three times, I think, or maybe twice, but 
either way it cost me over half my hit points and that is that is a problem with with the tank but it's the same with all light tanks right once you get spotted you're going to get hung out to dry and you're going to get your ass kicked um, because you've got bugger all unless you're in a LT100 or a LT432 which seemed to pull off some fairly miraculous bounces uh, I've actually fired with my manticore at the flat side of an LT432 and the shot ping bounced off him have no idea how but that's just the way it is now this STRV I'm pretty sure he takes a blind shot from the M48A5 here a little bit later on uh, I think he bounces it but again it's I mean he's his camo value is a lot better than mine oh I'm not spotted I don't think he fires and or he might fire but I don't think he gets spotted but either way uh, that M48A5 and that Conway I think it was the tier 9 British TD uh, had the wits about them and they were firing blind shots into this um, into these bushes and uh, that was a real problem and that's part of the reasoning for taking out the Conway because he was getting pretty close there's another blind shot coming in they're still firing at us but um, I think that one come from over towards the center a little bit but yeah it's um so back 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 to my falling out of love with the manticore I've I've decided to park this thing up in my garage I'm not going to take it out again um, until wargaming uh, decides to give it some kind of a buff I'm hoping that uh, they'll listen to what I have to say because as I say I've played 60 or 59 games in it now so I've got I've got a feeling for it I, I, I'm by no means a good player but um, I I think I know what they can do to help this tank a little bit now some of the changes I'm going to suggest are fairly radical but um, but I think it will help it hold its own against being bushwhacked and being just smashed out of the game by other light tanks particularly the EBR 105 and the LT100 and the LT432 at tier 8 uh, and, and the Batchat, is it 13105 and indeed a Batchat 25T will just toast this thing uh, it's, it's reload is way too long um, so you know you can get a shot off and if you're on the run there's no guarantee that shot's going to hit because the gun is woeful on the run on this thing uh, so if you get a shot off and you hit and the EBR 105 as an example fires at exactly the same time as you and he hits you then you're in for another one possibly close to two shots from him incoming uh, before you can get a reload in uh, and you know like if he's firing HE at you and they, every one of them pan, that's it, you're dead. You are dead. Um, simple as that, right? Now, a batch at 25T will clip you out. No problem at all. It'll clip you out if um, before you can get a reload in. Um, it, it, will, it will virtually clip you out. If you both fire at the same time, first shot, both pan, he's going to basically clip you out before you can get a reload in. So, oh, look, apologies. I should have turned off that. And look... The new recording software I'm using, uh, I'm still getting used to it, so you can see the first noob mistake I've made is, I didn't realise until I was rendering, but um, I've left the cursor sitting in the centre of the screen, so apologies for that. You'll also see the, um, the recording interface applet come up at the bottom right hand corner of the screen a couple of times at different parts of the recording of this, so apologies for that as well. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, it's 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 a tank that I I still have a lot of fun playing it, but it's just not not there. I don't believe the tank is actually there yet, and um, I do believe that uh, it needs more ammo. I think it needs uh, well one of the, one of the changes I'd suggest is that basically take on the gun characteristics of the uh, ELC even 90. Right, number one. The LC Even 90 is so small, much smaller than this tank, and yet it can carry 45 rounds of 90 mil ammunition. This tank carries 20 rounds of 105. Right, so I'm suggesting up the up the um, ammo capacity from say 20 to say 33 or 36, and give it a three-shot autoloader with the same 
ca characteristics of the ELC even 90. I'm, I'm about to get smoked here by the way, I've decided to run down here because we're at the, towards the end of the game and I'm thinking that we need to get some spots out here and I do get some spots out um, but that's the end of me there, Patton got me. But yeah, so so uh, give it give it the same characteristics of the uh, ELC even 90, uh, three shot three shot ammo capacity, three shot clip, 2.5 second intra clip reload, and a 30 second clip reload. Uh, that will give you an opportunity to at least pump some shots into something that's chasing you, anything that's chasing you, uh, whether it be a light tank or whether it be a batch at 25T. Remember, you're coming up against some fairly good medium tanks in this as well. I mean, people say the batch at 25T is the best light, best tier 10 light tank in the game. Arguable, I think probably the 13105 is not too bad, um, but you know uh, they've got a point. It's 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 a it's a bloody good tank. So this thing does not stand a chance against any of the light tanks in the um, there's that recording app that I'm talking about. Any of the uh, any of the uh, light tanks in the game, and it's just outpaced and outclassed by the mediums as well. Um, so. You know, uh, I'm just showing the. Uh, I, I think I got seven and a half k spotting damage in game, but in the results you see that I got nearly ten k spotting damage, I believe. Um, so you know, not bad. I finished it second on XP in this game, and uh, and um, not much damage, but uh, the XP was up there because of the spotting. I made some coin on it too, I believe. Uh, yeah, I made 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 some coin there as well. But you know, I got uh, got all the got all the the scout badges. I got patrol duty. I got scout. I got spotter. Um, so you know, there's nothing wrong with it in in its scout role. But it just needs to be able to defend itself better, I reckon. So to me, the changes that need to happen are give it. Um, probably 33 to 36 rounds, uh, give it better gun handling when on the move, give it uh, a three clip autoloader to, um, to at least be able to trade better with bat chats, with EBR 105s, with the LT100, with any other tier 10 light tank. I um, mean, you know, for God's sakes, if, if the ELC even 90 can have um, you know, 45 rounds in its in its in its bust little and it's surely this thing can have 33 or 36 rounds. Um, the other thing I reckon they should do is take a leaf out of the um, Centurion 7-1's book. It's the same gun, basically, it's the same 105 millimeter gun on the Centurion 7-1 and the Action 10, but give it the 210 mil 210 millimeter pen, pen hash. Uh, round available, make it available to the Manticore as well, I believe. This round here, no, sorry, not that round. That's the 90 mil round from. Um, that's the 90 mil gun characteristics from the uh, ELC Even 90. I'll put a graphic up of the um, the 210 millimeter. Uh, sorry, the the 105 millimeter hash round used in the Centurion 7-1 in a moment and uh, I think that will be a, a, a good round to incorporate, here it is here, I think that'll be a good round to incorporate with the um, with the uh, Manticore as well, so that's what I would do to fix the damn thing um, until until Wargaming do that then I'm going to park this damn thing up in the garage and if they decide not to fix it then I uh, will retire the crew out of that, we use the crew somewhere else. I haven't even touched on the fact that it's only got two crew members uh, because I don't think that's a real problem as long as they're trained specifically for the Manticore. You just can't use them in the Tier 8 Sanilac because different crew skills, because the the, the commander has vastly different... Um, commander has vastly different skill sets. So that's it for me. Take it easy, uh, enjoy yourselves, and uh, yeah, catch you on the battlefield.